beautiful humans. I hope you guys are doing so very well today. If you're new here, my name is Bridget Dombrowski, and if you're not new here, welcome back for another vlog. I'm so happy to have you here again. I am in my Disney College program, originally in fall 2022, now extended all the way till August of 2023. Today is the long-awaited room tour. I thought, considering it is February, I've been here since September, I said I was gonna, this was gonna be one of the first videos I've ever filmed and here we are. Terrible on my part, I deeply apologize. You guys probably have already seen most of my room just from the background of my videos, but we are gonna go in total depth today. It looks like very, very put together right now and I'm like, I just wanna just stay like this for forever, honestly. But guys, I have some news to share with you. Um, so my original program end date was February, end of February, February 23rd. It is early February right now. And I know I extended till August, like I just shared, but I'm actually moving out of Flamingo Crossings Village in like two weeks. Obviously I will still be in the Disney College program, I'll still be working for the company. I am just moving out into another um, apartment. This video needs to happen now before I started packing up everything. Because I really obviously want to commemorate for my memories, but also share with all of you about like how I decorated and the best storage things and I don't know, how, how I put together my room. So no other perfect time than today to do this. So let's, let's get into it. Um, to give you guys kind of like a brief overview, I am in a two by two. So that is two bedrooms, two bathrooms with your shared living space, kitchen area. So this apartment, all apartments at Flamingo Crossings Village accommodate four um, individuals. This specific one, a two by two is a shared bedroom and a shared bathroom between two. And then on the other side of my apartment um, unit, it's the same thing. And then all four of us will share a kitchen, a kitchen and a living area. I think it's considered like the smallest unit um, that is offered and it's the least expensive um, offering as well. Um, so there's just some things to consider. Shally's not here anymore, so I have a two by two room to myself, which is nice, but I miss my girl. I miss having somebody here with me. So, pardon the appearance, half of my room is gonna look put together and filled with things. The other half is just completely vacant. It's kinda nice, so you guys get to see what an empty space looks like compared to something that is filled. So, let's get into it. Welcome to my room at Flamingo Crossings Village. Okay, I figured maybe to start with the bathroom um, because that is the first thing that you walk into while entering my apartment. I'm not gonna show you guys the living room kitchen area just because I am sharing that space with others and I wanna keep that private before for all of us. So I'm only gonna be showing you my living space. So front door right here, open it. We turn. And here is my room. I'm in A and you walk in and here we are. First thing you see is the double vanity. Um, big mirror, great lighting. This is my side. This was Shally's side. This is the open one at the moment. But this is my side. Simple, minimalistic, we love. If anybody's interested in my decor, I got this vase from, I think Target as well as these mason jars in this tray, um, all from Target, and like the dollar section. And then these flowers, I think I got at like Joanne's craft store. Just add a little, it's fake. <laughs> I should put real ones in there, but just add something. Something cute, but super simple. Each person gets a mirror slash cabinet. This one is mine, if you wanted a visual. This is an empty one. So you both will receive that as well as you get all the cabinet space underneath. Just a little peep into like my organization 
that is like my extra toiletries, all of those kind of things, and just in that bin. And then I have like a first aid, um, a couple of like cleaning supplies in there. And then I have like my makeup brushes and then all of my hair products are in that white bin back there. It just keeps things a little bit more organized underneath the sink, but you do have like a bunch of space underneath of there. And that's basically it. You turn um, behind you from the vanity and you just have your entrance way to the bedroom. Um, over here is going to be the toilet and shower area. Um, this is just like a stand shower. Please, no one judge the appearance of this. Um, that's basically it. Standard shower, sliding doors, um, your toilet area. You have two towel racks, one for each person in the unit. And then you have this whole cabinet space that you guys can share. And then for my towels, I did just hang command hooks um, right there and right here for things to dry. That is the bathroom area. Nothing, nothing crazy. Making our way into the bedroom, I just have my magic banner um, with a bunch of my buttons that I have just from the years and a couple of cute little pins. I love this. I got this from uh, Once Upon a Brawn. Bronwyn um, is also a fellow YouTuber and I love her. She's one of my favorites. So I love to support her business whenever I can. And I have got this about a year ago. I think it's adorable. Um, just a cute little thing to display pins or buttons. But I decided to hang it on my door. And then you turn in and I have this wall here. And this is where all the light switches are to control um, the overhead lighting and the fan as well as the light the lights that I have on either um, side of the bed my Shelf that I brought from home um, that I used in my old apartments um, I got it off Amazon And this is just like my display of Disney things. I have my girls and of course the white rabbit too all up there and then some other little Disney things um, that I love. And then you turn, and then of course this is my side of the room. So honestly, you get like a decent amount of space with a two by two, and that's what I kind of love about it. Um, and it is the most affordable price. I for sure absolutely was upset when I found out that I got a two by two at first because I did preference a four by two. But coming into the program, I was going in with a random roommate Shally and I were able to connect about a month prior to move in um, and we did link with each other but at first we didn't know. I decided to go random until Shally just randomly came along and we were able to link. So I got this room assignment before I kind of like met Shally and asked to link with her so I was a little scared about it. Obviously it worked out but I think it's definitely valid to have fears um, of getting a two by two if you don't know your roommate. But if you are linking with somebody, it's a lot easier to move in together knowing each other. Everything worked out on my end um, for sure, but I was a little disappointed at first. Just also with due to space and I was worried that I wasn't gonna get a lot of space, but you get a, a good amount of space with a two by two. You have a, a twin XL bed um, that comes with this room. Also, I never said, the things that come furnished, you get this this um, end table that does have wheels so it moves and it can be adjusted um, using like a lever underneath of here so you can raise it up and down. Um, you get the bed, you also get four drawers, you get that each, um, as well as like a full closet. That is it really for the room. I obviously decorated a lot compared to others. I just wanted it to feel like a really homey vibe in here. Um, something that I was gonna be very comfortable in. So that's why I did decide to bring a decent amount down and decorate it the way I did. I got this rug at Target. My bed sheets I got from Target. Um, this home pillow I just recently got for Christmas for my parents. Um, of course, my weighted Mickey that I got down here too. My pillows that I, I brought down here, my Harry poster, which is literally iconic. I have so many Harry posters and this is the one I decided to bring down, but I could not 
not bring one down but of course he had to come with me and then this trim around this border that separates the two beds is magnetic so i put some magnets on it this one as well as my chef mickey's one i got from disney and then those two are from the lost bros um just as like a additional thing from ordering some shirts from them um but i think it's just it's cute it's nice that it's metal i would definitely say that most of my things have come from amazon or target just because it's the most convenient obviously amazon you can order from and have it delivered here as well as like there's a target across the street there's one maybe five minutes down the road too so you have most accessibility to target and amazon so it's a great place to get furniture or things that you need for flamingo from those two companies most of my stuff is from there but thought to share where i got that stuff and then i keep my calendar and my laptop at the bottom part of my nightstand and then i did bring this lamp down i got it from tj maxx um and then i just keep my name tag there as well but it just adds a little bit extra lighting you do have obviously the overhead and then the bedside lamp too i get asked questions about these prints all the time and i absolutely love them i got all of them from Etsy from three different sellers. The frames are from Target. I bought them on Etsy, printed them up, and here they are. I absolutely love them. I love the color that it brings. It's cute little things that tie into Disney-esque, but it's not like in-your-face Disney. I guess it's kind of in-your-face Disney considering it's a castle, um, but I just love it. I love them. It's probably one of my favorite things about this room. It's adorable, so cute. Um, and then, of course, I have my shoulder pal of Tink and my little Mickey Nuimo. And then these ears that I got at Traditions. And then um, I have my 10K metal. Um, adorable, hanging on the side. As well as this lei that I got from the Polynesian my first day. And then my other lei that I got from Milani. Um, but that's... The gist of my sleeping area, power-wise, you do get a lot of outlets and USB ports and stuff. So um, this switch switches on the light, but you also get two USB ports here. And then underneath your bed, I don't know if you can tell over there, you get two USB ports as well as a outlet. I decided to bring like a power strip just to have a little bit more. Very conveniently placed and a good amount of them. Um, as well as I have one right here and one right here too. So, and I think there's a few elsewhere as well. Right before the closet, you, I have my Alice Wonderland prints and of course the note that Peter Pan gave me. Of course they're framed, cute little place to hang them. And then this is your closet. Um, it is a sliding door closet, but it's mirrors. So you don't have to bring a mirror and it's lovely. We love a huge mirror. You get two of them. It's wonderful. Um, but going into the closet, you get a lot of good space. I definitely took advantage of all my space. You have your overhead storage over there. And then a good amount of like closet space to hang so many clothes. Um, I got this like hanging organizer just to give me a little bit more storage um, from Amazon as well as that is from Target. So I have a shoe rack, of course. Got that from Target. This is a bag where I keep all of my like park bags. I have my suitcase up there. All of my hanging clothes. Sweatshirts. Um, I put an extra blanket up there as well as my um, steamer uh, for my costumes. I got that down here um, just so I can steam clothes and don't have to iron them. And then I keep my, ba my bathing suits in that tote up there. And as well as I keep my... um laundry basket but again a good amount of space like even it the closet's huge like and super tall that you have a lot of like underneath storage too like it's wonderful something that I love is like I never had any issue with like fitting clothes or space like I still have a good amount of space in the closet to hang things um so I mean it's definitely helpful that I do have um the hanging storage shelves and the other bin that i got from target but even if i didn't have those i think i would have enough space in the closet to hang up all the clothes i feel like this is a really boring video i'm so sorry but 
I guess it's the tour. <laughs> um, moving on away from the closet area and my bed, we're gonna turn. Um, on this back wall, I decided to put my pin board um, and as well as like my memory board. It just has like a bunch of things that I collected over my time. I do love all my pins and everything, so. It all has very special meaning to me for sure. Um, and then moving over here, this is my drawers. You can not stack them. It can be, it's divided into two and two. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but right there is where you can like remove them so they could be like side by side instead of stacked. But to save a little bit more room, I just thought it was a lot better that way. Um, you get four of them. A good amount of space in each of them too. Like, I'll open a drawer for you. This is my Disney t-shirt drawer. Um, but like, again, a good amount of space to put things in. And then on top of my dresser, I decided to put a jewelry tree. Um, I got from Amazon. I have my little calendar, which is counting down the days till Valentine's Day because I am going home for a couple days, um, leaving on Valentine's Day, so I'm super, super excited. So that's my little countdown. Um, and then a couple couple books. I have like my Peter Pan one, my Polaroid photo album, and then my journal. And then just like a box of, of keepsake stuff. Um, I have my, my Mickey bowl of my crystals. And then a little plant that's fake. I think I got it from TJ Maxx. Um, but something else that I decided to put in here is like an extra storage area. Um, this top basket just has all of my ears and random Disney things, park essentials that I just kind of throw in there. Um, and then this bottom one, I keep my all my cups as well as all of the... I literally can't think of the the name, but it's like my essential oils and my oil diffuser, but also um, these like candle melt, wax melts, something like that put, to put in candle wax melter um, because candles aren't allowed in Flamingo, so I got this from Target and just makes my room smell really nice. Um, right now I'm using the Polynesian scent um, from the Bose candles that they have at Disney Springs that I love so that's really nice but that's just the other thing that I keep in those drawers it's strictly drunk drawers at this point but it's just another place to put storage and it looks nice in here um on top I have my magazine so I have my Walt Disney one of course my Harry Styles Rolling Stones and the uh, Better Home and Garden Harry Styles one and then a picture of my family and my Snow White like notebook, but also it's like the storybook that I just like absolutely love. It's the book that they open in the beginning of the movie and I just, like, just think it's perfect. Guys, like that was my tour. That was it. That was really, I feel like really bad, but you guys kind of have a gist of like what you get and how I decorated, you guys got to really see. Um, again, granted, like, you probably could have seen from the rest of my videos, but I wanted to definitely do like a little bit more of an in-depth walkthrough. Um, I will show you Shally's um, old side, just to give you more visual of what it looks like when you're coming in and how much space you do get uh, before it is filled with some, all of your things. This is a side-by-side -side comparison, I guess. Um, all of my stuff, this is the empty side. So you are really only separated, separated by this wall. Um, you can, to my understanding, I can't remove this because it is connected to the, the headboard. Um, but that's like your, your dividing wall between your side and your neighbors. Oh my God, something I did forget is they give you this under bed storage bin. It does lock. So um, I did buy a lock from Target. This is it. Um, this is like the locking part. If you were to just spin that, you could lock it like that. Um, I just use it for um, my totes and 
Oh, my important documents I just kept in like a little storage bin. But again, this is kind of like a junk drawer too, but this has more of my important things so I can lock it in here. That's just something else that's super nice. You get a, a good amount of space in there. Like that's how wide it is. Um, it's just one big long drawer as well as my underbed storage. I don't really have much underneath of here, just some Swiffer things and some boxes. But you do have a good amount of space underneath your bed too if you wanted to get any extra plastic drawers to keep shoes or, um, I don't know, anything storage-wise. Another space that you could put that stuff. This is what it looks like when you walk in. So, nothing, nothing crazy. Your drawers the big old window, your closet. It looks so empty and it's so sad. Shelly, I miss you. But yes, that was my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any more like specific questions about, I guess the a two by two or um, if there's something that you were interested in purchasing and you were just curious on where I got it, please reach out. I'll be happy to give you that answer. Um, but. That was really it. I definitely have enjoyed living at Flamingo. I think the conveniency of how close you are to the parks is fabulous. Um, and they offer busing if you don't have your car or, if, or on days where I don't feel like driving, I can always take the bus. But it is a very nice complex. Um, so I'm definitely fortunate to be here. To give you guys also on the expense, I do pay about 190 a week. Um, which is directly taken out of my paycheck and that pays for my living here. So I do not have to really worry about paying rent um, because like I physically don't have to like hit a button to pay for it um, as long as I work the amount of hours. But that was my room tour. I do love it and I'm really sad about taking having to take everything down. But... Um, I'm excited for my new adventure, and I think I'm happy for all the memories that I've had here. I don't really have much else to add, but again, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, or a good start to your day. We will see you real soon. Bye, everyone.